It's paying for pussy wrong. Is five minute sex enough sex? Teenage vasectomies. What are we doing? I love it. I love it. I love it. I go by the international name of Damo. Never been a lame. Oh, it's your boy, that boy, Bari. And this is Jay Willard, the podcast killer, a.k.a. podcast poppy, a.k.a. the power father. And this right here, this is Willow Wednesdays, man. You about to get some ghetto news from your relationship gurus. Oh, Dave, since when you was international, bro? Come on now. Since you got shot. <laughs> Internationally known on the microphone. <laughs> Since you got shot. I go fellas, front. Delayed fellas, gunshots fellas, is the worst. <laughs> fellas, 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 fellas. What's the word? What's going on? How y'all Madness. been? How was y'all week? Talk to me. Uh, week was pretty good. I went out for a uh, shout out to Ashley from the Girls Night Podcast. Her birthday was Saturday. Oh, I nice. Out for her Happy birthday, birthday to Bashley from I the got girls mad free podcast. drinks because of them. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Ashley, Rand, Mel. Shout out to the homies. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about mad free drinks. I like. Oh. I forgot what it's like to go out with women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go out with the homies, women as homies. Oh, shit. You was the gay best friend. I guess. Because <laughs> I got mad free drinks. It was just chilling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and a nigga woke up to the bar like, yo, who you with? She was like, yeah, it was me and my friends. How many of y'all mm. is it? It's four, it's four of us. Mm. I told me just swiping the card. So I get a, I get a cranberry <laughs> and vodka off the rip. Like, yo, you hold that down, bar. Shout out to you, you know bro. Saying? Hold that down. Oh, yeah. My fault. You know what I'm saying? Well, I woke up the next day with the worst headache in the world, but it was still dope. It was good. It was fun. You All of a free liquor. That's what's no, up, though. No, hey, mad free liquor. Mad free liquor. Was that, uh, was that last year or was that two years ago uh, we went to a party? That nah, had to be was two more years. Than, it was more like three, yeah, three that's, years that's, ago? That's, that's, that's longer than that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that was a dope ago. party. Facts. I just want to point out. It started mad late, but it was a hell of a party. She Jamaican. Yeah, well, that makes sense. <laughs> we, we was in Canarsie. We was in Canarsie. Yeah. 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 I enjoyed that. I know. Damn, that was about three years ago. All right, no. But man, shout out to Girls Night Podcast. Shout out to... Yeah, that's when Devonta Ashley. came with his T-Mobile shirt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. In the middle nah, of the party nah. dancing. Yo, Damo, man. How, how was your week, brother? What's going on? Talk to me. Week was good, man. Week was good, man. Uh, musically, the vibes is getting there. Um... You know, got some new equipment, got some new stuff, working on new sounds. Okay. I feel good, man. I've been in the zone lately. Yeah. Okay. Positivity on yeah, the man. creativity. That's it. That's it. All right. All right. You done went my vegan week again, fire. didn't you? My week was fire. Fuck y'all. Okay. My week was lit. Um, Ain't nobody was, asked you. I'm telling you. Right. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm just, listen, I, 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 with all this shit that happened this week, in the news and the Olympics and everything happening, I was just excited to get back here to hey, talk to you. Hey, you What's already up? know what I'm about to say. What's up? Shout out to my sister and them. Uh for becoming first, second, and third. One, one two, two, three. three. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, Shout two, out to my sister and <laughs> my, yes. my Jamaican people. <laughs> you know what I'm That's saying? Hilarious. Yeah. Come in one, two, three, and she smoked the um, and she took two hundred. So shout out to her. Shout out to Jamaica. Yeah, they did their thing as always in the Olympics. You know what I'm saying, hey, real quick, first off, know. yeah, is this not probably people? I've been people hearing people say that this is probably the worst Olympics that we've had in a while. Ooh. View viewership wise, it was down through and through. Yeah, yeah it was like the bur- mm-hmm. it was like 
the worst Olympics we've had in a long time, bro. I feel like the only people watch it was me and Jay. <laughs> Listen, it, you want to like, know okay, why? So I, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say part of it is because, you know, people say a lot of the times the United States dominates in a lot of sports, but now of recent, a lot of the countries are catching up to the United States athletically. You know what I'm saying? You think Normally, so? I think so, because I prime example basketball. Remember, United States dominated in basketball. Now all of a sudden, they win in championship games by only seven points. You know what I'm saying? I I want I want to go. I want to take that statement and go a step further. Mm-hmm. Um, the Olympics normally showcases the best of the best from each country. Mm-hmm. I feel like with coronavirus and um, the, the the state of politics in the U.S., I feel like a lot of factors hindered people from competing. I right. feel like a lot of, especially in the U.S., I can't speak for other countries because I don't live there, mm-hmm. but I feel like the best of the best for our country, they didn't, they didn't show up. They didn't whether, it be, whether it be because of they weren't fucking with the U.S. or... Um, coronavirus is real and right. COVID, they, they, they don't want to be in a, a large right. group setting. I, I feel like a lot of factors played heavily into this uh, Olympics. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. do, I do, I do want to say that um, it, it, it felt good to watch the Olympics because it brings back normalcy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we can feel like things have subsided and, you know, we're, we're back to normal mm-hmm. and it's, it's, a regular day in the office. Like I, I do want to shout out that aspect, but behind all of that, you see these athletes with masks on. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, it, it's, it, we're dealing with something that we've never dealt with in our lifetime. And, and I feel like yeah. that, that came across in this Olympics. And because of that, a lot of people didn't compete because if you look at the USA basketball team, it's not like we had the best of the best out there. No. No, bro, the, the dream team is real. We normally put the best of the best the fuck out there. I mean, we have punk ass Drew Holiday. Don't Watch your that. mouth. Watch your mouth. Listen, all I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say <laughs> is, nice. I, what you talking about? I, all I'm gonna say is the competitor. I'm for life. Jamaica did win. The women <laughs> did win for for hundred meters. But I'm gonna need Shikari Richardson. Women, the women did win, not the women's. Listen, you said the women's, women's, yeah. the women's them women. did win the race. The One, women. two, three. We clean up the place. You understand? Clean up. But the I'm gonna need she call, Miss Richardson. I'm gonna need Miss Richardson to please make sure she's ready and able and prepared to be in this race because I would have loved. I'd have paid any amount of money to see yeah. that race. I'm not gonna lie to you. The world, the world wanted to see that. I would have paid. When, when 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 you're black in America, they can stop you for anything, and of that's course, what I'm trying to say. I'm, like, but like I, they, they 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 can stop any anything at any time. So because of that, the best of the best did not represent the country. Listen, now, I'm not even you, gonna. We're not even gonna go back down that road. We know and understand that. All I'm asking yeah. as a competitor in me, please be able to be there so I can see that because right. that would have been some shit. Shorty Facts. finished second of all. That the time she finished in was the second fastest time for women's period ever. I would have whoo, that race would have yeah. been so lit. That race yeah, would have been so. It was second or first. She had the second fastest time all time. Yeah. So pretty much the the time that she posted in the prelims, she would have won silver medal. Mm. So what what we what we're saying is, she may had another gear. What if she's Michael Jordan and she can. Take it up another notch when the competition. Saying, gets and up, I right? would have picked. And that race would. They didn't. They didn't give us the opportunity to see that. Yeah, bro. I because don't... she had weed in her system because her fucking grandmother died. No, and, she and then what's her name? What's, what's her TV. name? Shelly Ann Williamson. She got the. But Shelly Ann Williamson, the one who won the hundred meter, she has the second fastest hundred meter time of all time now. Yeah. Yeah. No. Of shout out to they, they was. So it now it's thing. like I would have loved to see Rich, Miss Richardson race that run that race Facts. and see how she'd have went up against that. That just the competitive Facts. me, it would have been dope. That yeah. would have been some shit. It's like because come not, on, not, son. we we all want to see uh, Dame. We go a step further. We go to the fucking the gymnastics. We watched it. We did. It wasn't the same without Simone Biles. Like it wasn't nah, the same. It like, just it wasn't. wasn't. 
we got these random people who are now competing to try and win a medal. It's like, yo, if Simone was here, y'all be washed up. Like, it'd be yeah. no competition. So, Nigga said, oh, I feel like doing the floors today. So I'm going to do the floors. <laughs> Nigga said, I, I feel like doing the floors today. So I'm going to compete with the floors and get a medal. Hey. My, 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 my bar routine is nice. No, it's not. Simone not competing. So, like, you, you, to me, this Olympics in Tokyo has a big ass asterisk next to it. Right. Um, the, the asterisk, the, the main asterisk meaning COVID. But even with that, I, I feel like we, we stopped Shikari from running. Simone Biles had a death in the family, and then we, 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 I say we loosely, but we crucified her for mental health. We, like, we, we always find a way to come at the black athlete, and I hate that shit. For real. I don't, listen, I don't want to take nothing away from any winners, though. You know what I'm no, saying? No, Italy I, won their first. I will. So I'll no, be that guy no, who does so. Listen, I'll be that guy. At the end of the day, whoever won, because Italy won their first 100 meter dash for men ever. Mm-hmm. Shout out Bro, to them. Who, Will Italy don't fucking run, bro. What? It don't matter. The nigga still won. I, listen, bro. I, 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 the it. nigga still won, bro. I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. You can't. The nigga still won, dog. Are you competing for a gold medal? No. That nigga is. No, Hundred well, meter I mean, dash. I get both. I um just want to say real quick. I I get both sides. Um, I mean, if you got to represent your country and you do well and you win, hands down, you deserve that. Yeah, I'm um, not like, bro. Like, the other so, applications, so, do, I'm not fine. But I do kind of understand how it's like the bubble of Olympics. You know, bro, like we looked at. I'm not fighting. Like, fucking it's bubble like, Olympics, bro. I'm not, ar- remember, bro. I will not I, argue I, that. I didn't Yo, even bro, that it was, Jamaica. Even realize... Wait, wait. Jamaica qualified for diving. When the fuck have we ever qualified for diving, bro? <laughs> He's still like, come on, son. I'm not arguing with you. I'm with your side. Nothing, dog. Nothing. When have we, yo, bro? When I saw that we qualified for diving, I said, since when, bro? No, they, they didn't score at any point because we watched the diving. They didn't. But he qualified to compete. <laughs> when have we ever qualified to compete in diving? You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Well, that's what's up. But shout out to all the winners, nonetheless. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say this: shout out to USA soccer, shout out to USA Facts. basketball, Facts. shout out Women's. to USA Olympics, shout yeah, out to man. USA track and field, shout mm. out to USA fucking canoeing, shout out to USA skateboarding. You feel me? Y'all did y'all thing? You went Gymnastics. to gymnastics. Yeah, you, I got you one went last question. COVID, you, went, you went to the COVID Olympics and you did your thing. You brought medals back to the US. I respect it. At the same yeah. time. I don't respect everything about the U.S., so we need to fix some things home That's so tough. that we can have a more sense of pride. I will say that because as black Americans, I don't feel how – what's the white swimmer, Caleb? Caleb, what's his name? I was going to ask y'all. I don't, I don't – wait, let me, let me just finish. Bar, my bad, my bad. I, I don't feel the same way about my country, how he feels about his country. Mm-hmm. It's just two different Americas we live in, so shout right. out to y'all. Um, I would like to see in the next four years we we make it we make it better for all Americans because y'all love to throw the black athlete out to win medals, but we don't get no respect. So that, that's how I feel about it. You feel me? Like I I got one question for y'all real quick about the same bro, the same white boy swimmer. Shout out to him for winning all the medals this year. He yeah, killed he, he did Caleb, his thing. Caleb, somebody, some, Caleb. Some Caleb. They say they are trying to say that 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 bad white boy is a better swimmer. He's faster than Michael Phelps. I just want to hear what y'all bugging, think real quick. Bugging, bugging, bugging. They're bugging. trying to compare him to Michael Phelps already. Listen, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Michael Phelps smoked weed. <laughs> so so because the niggas smoke weed, they try to discredit what he did because. He's using a drug that's no, not no, no, allowed. No. But okay, it. okay, I'm with you. Fine, fuck all that. The political part of what you're talking about, I'm just talking about as on some nigga shit. That's not Do political. you think this white boy is better than than Michael Phelps? The I'm reason, gonna, the, the, reason the reason, the reason why you can't be better than Michael Phelps is because Michael Phelps did all that while being high. And they claim that he was, de- <laughs> and they claim he was depressed. Like they claim he was depressed on the last his last twelve Olympics he did, where he won all them goddamn medals. They say he was. You- he had mild, like he had severe depression and all I mean, types of other. To be an Olympic athlete, I feel you do go through bouts of depression, bro. You have to always be on. You can't have an off day. You're always scrutinized. You're always measured by the point millisecond of your life. It's like 
they, I, we're, it's we're, like, we, it's we, like we, working. Okay, my but go ahead, Dan. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say it's like working for Amazon. Sorry, but that's where my brain went because that's how it is working at Amazon. You can't go to the bathroom; they clock you. So I can imagine that, and you competing for the best shit. Like it, and. Bro, they, they they throw that <laughs> they throw that 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 country shit on you. They throw that patriotism, nationalism. Right. They throw all that on you. So to to be under that immense amount of pressure and still deliver, trust me, I'm no Olympian. I, I'm not an Olympic athlete, but I give them all the credit. So shout out to y'all for bringing the medals back home. Facts. You're not an Olympian, Dame. No, you're not. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm an Olympian, okay? All I got to say is that boy <laughs> is not touching Michael Fl- Phelps' phys- flippers, whatever you want to call that shit. That white boy is bad. All right. Michael what Flipper is- Phelps? Yeah, because that, that that boy Michael Phelps a fish for real. I think I think he was born part fish. He Aquaman because, nigga, I, I, I don't see it. Random, but before we switch topics, can y'all swim? I could swim. Can you swim, bird? I swim enough to survive. No, I mean, okay, save your life. Um, I, I, I could I, probably I, say, I could probably save about a person and a half. No, I, I could, okay. I could barely that's, save that's, me. I got, I, I, no, I, I got enough. I got, I got enough to keep me alive. You. I got enough for me, and I got now, you. I'm, buddy. I'm, I'm no, I'm no Olympian in the in the the, the two hundred meter butterfly. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> But you, how, many, how many people if, can you save? If, if I jumped, <laughs> if, if if I jumped off the boat and I was in the water, can I survive? Yes, I can. I can definitely Listen, keep myself. I got afloat. enough to but barely you, keep me alive. Can you save alive. someone? No, but that's this is the level now. I, I, t- I tell you this. I tell you this. Um, <laughs> I've been in a situation where someone was drowning, and I did jump in the water and get them. Okay. What hap- What happens is what real shit. What happens is they're in a state of panic and they're flailing. Right. You have to do something to them to calm them down. You so do. me personally, I'll knock everybody the fuck out. <laughs> Yo, chill out. Chill out. Yeah. Now yeah, let me yeah. get you back to safety type shit. Yeah, you do. Because people, they be wilding. Like, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I got just enough to save my dumb ass. Just enough. No, I'm with it. I'm with it. That's it. But that's why I say I think I got enough to save another person yeah. and I, half not, of somebody else. Me. Bari, she drowning. Damn, that's crazy. At, <laughs> at the end of the day, shout out to the USA team. We brought home the most medals again, like we Let's normally do. As and always. Y'all that's did? What we fucking do. Y'all did? Yeah, nah. USA right no. USA bro. You was born in Brooklyn. Fuck you mean y'all. Listen, my blood, my blood, my blood. Oh, you was born in you green, was born in yellow, there. and black. Bro. You heard? You was born in Brooklyn. Clean up. You ain't even sound natural saying that. Clean Thanks. up. <laughs> Clean up every year, me clean. He started saying me clean. That nigga was born in Brookdale, bro. We know you. Clean up, definitely wasn't. Clean. Born and raised Brooklyn, bro. We know you. You American through and through. Don't watch that, y'all. Watch the wrong thing, brother. Speaking of watching, moderator, roll call, selective snitching, temporary lover, always toxic, half a gas station pill. I don't need no book, Bari. What the fuck we talking about tonight, brother? that was for um Ooh. is 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 five minutes sex enough sex because you know there's a, a, a lot of times people put a time constraint on how long sex should be it should be an mm. hour we had one person call in one time and say she has sex for three hours every time she has sex i'll put some trash we're be. not even gonna go down that road again but garbage but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna debunk the myth here. Is five minutes sex enough sex? <clears throat> I like your little setup, man. It looks great. Yo, yo, yo! I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying, nah, this you is like... amazing. This, yeah, like, nah. that should be the primary camera angle. This is fire. Listen, he look like he on a date with himself. Oh, like, is this what, like when he took himself out that time? Yeah, yeah. I take Remember myself that? out all the time, baby. I love me. Self love, <laughs> self love, baby. <laughs> Listen, a lot more people take their self out. They wouldn't be so sad all the time, man. I'm telling you, I'm trying. I'm trying to tell. I you. agree. Uh, so men, do y'all buy pussy? Mm. You know, the the statement is, yeah, it. I buy pussy, not because I need to, but I'm really just too busy and grown to try and finesse the drawers off. That's a bad sentence. I got more money than Tom. 
Mm, okay. So, with that being said, what? No, no. Was it one more? I, no, I'm saying finishing the statement. The, the statement. Oh. The topic. Do y'all buy pussy? That's what we're gonna talk about. Mm. And then, lastly, kids getting vasectomies. Oh. Uh, this lady, she went viral on social media talking about how her son is 11, and when he turns 14, she's considering getting him a vasectomy. Right. Because she doesn't want him, in turn, to become a deadbeat father like his father. Right. At a young age. Mm. She feels that she can have, he, when he's ready to have a child, he can have, he can reverse the vasectomy and have kids. And even if the vasectomy is not reversible, you can get viable sperm from your testicle and then have in vitro with whomever you feel like you want to have a child with at the time. People were, of course, coming at her left, right, front, and center, talking crazy shit to her. But the main point of what she was trying to make was men having some type of birth control to not have kids too early. So we're going to talk about mm. that as well. That's good. Um, we're going to at least, we, we should probably play part of the video. Of which one? The, the, the lady talking, or at least, because I know it was a lot of, it was a lot I don't of know where the, I don't I don't know specifically where that the original? is. Okay, yeah, the original cool. I don't know where that is, but I only saw like Fair enough the one I sent you. All right, that was a good but, uh, uh, that was a good topic though. All right, let's get it. Yes, 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 yes. Brother Wade, press the drop for me, please. I love the girl. I'm with it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's talk about five minute sex, y'all. Okay. Fellas in the room, including you, Wade, is five minutes sex enough sex? Consistently. Can I go first? Excuse me, go ahead. No. Ah. Five minutes okay. sex is not good enough consistently. Dang. Keyword, keyword on consistent. Okay. Yeah, the word, because you... I, you threw Dang, it off. Talk to me. You threw it off with consistently, though. Wait, you said five, five minutes says, minute says good enough. Yeah. Then you said it's five minutes says good consistently. Is that it? changes it. Is it good enough consistently? Con- consistently, I'll say no. But I do think that five minutes sex is good enough. No, sir. Um, Brother Man Wade, talk to me. What you think about Five minutes sex being enough sex. Brother Man Wade said not consistently. Mm-hmm. It's not enough. So, uh, Jason. Consistently is the word that changes it, though. Yeah, I mean. Okay, the- so how about this? If, if, if we're all in agreement on the word consistently, let's take it away. Is five let's minutes sex nice enough? To- is like, five, five minutes sex enough? No. Can it still can not? Can it work? No, it can't. Can't, can't. It still doesn't change it. You for say me, it's, no. it's a no for you. No, Same thing with you, Jay. Yeah, it's, it's a big no for me. Five minutes sex is not enough. Yeah, it's not. To be honest, to be honest, five minutes can just be foreplay. Like, yeah, you you can feel five minutes. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I do get it. Five minutes is a long period of time if you just sit here and, and be still for five minutes. So I get it, but. When you're in the flow, you're in the motion. Five minutes is really nothing. So I, I I can't agree with five minutes being enough. No, I need I need more than that. Yeah, man. I can give I can give you an example of a dope five minutes. Cool. When when you sneaking, when you doing some shit you're not supposed to be doing. But I don't want to sneak no okay. pussy every like, time. No, no, no. But you keep making it every time and consistent. Ain't nobody saying none of that. We just took that out the window. But I'm is it about- enough? I'm talking you and your girl no. in somewhere y'all not supposed to be. No. And you like, nigga. And she like, nigga. And y'all no. like, oh, bow. It's it's in no, a I, very eventful, I, I, enjoy, I, I, you know what I mean? I agree with that. If if we had a fucking a church service. I literally think of church. Why is he going to like, church? Oh, yeah. <laughs> The no, reason look I'm, where he goes. Like that, you no, couldn't no, just no, be no, like, no, "Yo, no, y'all at a party." You know what I'm saying? A five minute window. If your five minute window is both of y'all feeling it, okay, fuck church, a funeral, whatever uh-huh. the case may be. Like yeah. five minutes. 
You Death? got five minutes to right make it bathroom. happen. Death? Right in the yeah, bathroom. You're terrible, bro. I, I, I hear you, but to me, fuck it. Let's get it going. Like, what's up? That's like, it. yeah. A funeral? That's it. But hey, to me, know? that's... Okay, so I, I kind of like the... I, I kind of like the... The risque. I like the... We're not that supposed makes, to be doing this. That makes the I five minutes... I can't do that. I got yeah. Amazing. I, 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 got I do like that. So I, right. I will... I, I, I bar, Barry, fuck Barry. Dame, I agree with you. I agree with you on that. If it's that five minutes, then sure, it could be enough. You're just trying to get in, get out. It's a crazy situation. And Ooh. it's fun. Nah, I, you know, bro, it is, it I like to fun. get completely naked and have sex. I don't want to have... Like, but I want to take... Again, it's about the bro, five minutes. Listen, but I'm not okay, disagreeing so, so with what, you. What, I mean, what, what, I will, what I will say, Barry, you need to have a dope-ass quickie. A dope ass quickie, no matter where no, you no, at, I'm not, that shit well, will change your life. I'm no, yeah. I've had dope ass quickies. Don't get it twisted. I've had it. I've, like your, I, I your, like your, it. your girl pop up on you and, on your yeah. lunch break, and yeah, you no, got no, half no, an no, hour lunch sure. break. Sure, dope ass quickies like, are lit. I'm not saying <laughs> they're gotta, not good, but you got a half an hour lunch I break. Really, and your girl I wanna, like nigger. I want to take like, my eh? shirt off. I want to take my drawers off. You know what I'm saying? I just got you into taking my socks off during sex. Like I want to a half an hour lunch break. Nah, you can't bro. Do that every time. Like I want to get completely butt naked during sex. I just for got lunch, into taking bro. my. I just got. I just got into taking my socks off during sex. Like that's a different type of thing. I just got into that. Oh, so you got slippery sex? I used to. You're I used to. I need to grip the floor. But now I took. I've been taking my socks off socks during sex off. now. I've been taking no, my but- socks. I, I, tell you, I tell you this, I tell you this. If, if you're wearing socks during sex, you got no thrust. No, it depends. If you're on the bed, if you're on the bed and on your knees, you're fine. But if you're on the floor, you got standing no thrust. Up, not that, that's no, not true. Honestly, that's not it's true. A, your, it's according your range to, of wait, motion, wait, your wait, range of motion is terrible. My bad, Dan. It's go a, ahead. It's, it's according to if you have carpet or not. Because if you got carpet, them socks going to roll up anyway. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? You got socks roll up. You have to that's, take them socks off. That's carpet, bro, ain't no, ain't I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm from Brooklyn. We don't got carpet in our apartments like that. Uh, That's okay. one. Yeah. Two, floors. but you got to also, it's also, <laughs> see, if you worked out, Willie, you would understand hip thrust. You don't need, you don't, listen, all you need to, is here. That's all here, you know what I'm saying? You don't, the motion in the ocean don't get lost if you got that, socks that on. Got, okay, so I'm going to say this. That ain't got shit to do with being in the gym. If it you is. thrusting, no, hear me out. If you're thrusting, and she's throwing it back, and you're mm-hmm. on a solid wood floor. If you're wearing socks, you're sliding. No nah, matter how much gym you got, so fuck nah, the gym. Bro. Nah, bro. Nah, but you. But okay. listen, you already so know now, when niggas now, work. Now, you already now, know. So now, Barry, the niggas, strongest nigga ever. Bar, no, I never said I was the strongest nigga ever. But I am. already know when niggas work out, they try to they try to relate everything to the gym. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Man, I should do That's not what I'm saying. What I am. If you're on a slippery surface <laughs> and you have slidable not, materials, which is cotton on wood floor. Now, if we're right. talking about carpet, cool. You got some grit. If we're talking about a that. wood floor. But even outside of that, floor, I'm not. Forget standing on the floor. I'm talking about, let's say you on the bed and you hitting it from the back. You're not standing on your feet on the bed. That's what I mean. There's that. So, so I, I had my side. I guess, it's, I guess it's situational. because This is what I'm if saying. You're, if you're on the bed, then sure. But. If Shorty is face down, ass up, at the side of the bed, and you're standing both two feet on a wood floor, and you're wearing socks, no matter how much gym you got, you slip. It don't fucking matter. You're slipping, bro. Mm-mm. That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't matter how much gym you got. You gotta charge nah. up like Goku. Nah. No, nigga, Listen, take your like... socks off. <laughs> Listen, take first off, off, I don't want to take my socks. I didn't want to take my socks off. Low key, like, first off, on. first off, what we not gonna do is shame me. Whoa, 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 whoa. What we not gonna do is throw the Tim's on. Low key, first off, what we not gonna do is shame me. I didn't want to take my socks off until you know what. I just started this. I just got wait. I just got to the game of taking socks off, right? And it's a very, very, very. Don't judge me, nigga. I don't like taking my socks off around people. Oh, no, so, so, so you're a baby. Got you. Okay. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. At the end of the day, I don't just like taking my socks off for people. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you seeing my feet is a very intimate thing for me. But you the same person that just said, I Wait like to take my shirt off Wait a minute. get into this. Wait a minute. What does I that mean? Say, I want to say one thing. Ah. So your feet is intimate. I don't Showing like... Your, 
Wait, wait, wait. Let yeah, me go. I'm, I'm answering your question. I, I didn't finish the question. Thank you. Showing your feet is intimate. But showing your dick, your private part, your private area, that's not intimate? I don't know. Because I'm, I'm blessed oh. and highly favored with my dick. My shit is, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's not intimate. It's embarrassing then. What you're that's saying it. is that you're, that ain't not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not talking about intimacy. No, it, say, I say, am because wait, if no, I... No, no, real quick. No. Bro, you just said you just said your dick is blessed and highly favored. Right. If I know you can't that. show but your feet, that can means I your add, feet How y'all ask me same, a question and then cut me off as soon as I'm trying to answer the question? That, that means that your feet don't got the same blessing. No, that's not <laughs> like, what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... Favored, what I'm sh- at the end what, of the day, I, how, okay. them feet is definitely... That's not cursed. what I'm saying. I sh- <laughs> you I allow you to see my feet... If, if I allow you to see my feet, the devil got your feet. No, my feet is very beautiful, baby. But I just don't like people seeing the my feet. The devil got your feet, brother. It's, it's just like right. it's just like you know what it's like. It's just like <laughs> you have a project that you 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 have a baby you've been working on a project. Nope, you do going. music nope. and you don't let you no know you don't like people touching mm-hmm. shit, huh? Mm-hmm. Not going, not going, bro. Because you you talk about your dick as if it's ah, listen right, but, but your it, feet is like. No, it's just I don't like. First of, I'm not a feet person. Your private, your private area. Sh- listen to the words private. private. Your private. No, no. no. Who made? Listen. First of, who made it private? Everybody. Who made your dick private? Listen, Everybody. That's the question you just asked. Yes. That's a dumbass question. That's not a. Bro. That's not a dumbass question. Nigga, All I'm saying, like I said, nigga, I don't just show. Mean. I don't. You can I don't, pull your foot out in public. You can't pull your dick out in public. What you talking about? What, what I'm you trying can literally to, go to jail for pulling your dick out. You cannot go to jail for pulling your I'm foot out. What do you mean? Who made it? What private? I'm trying to say. Talk talk to what to I'm trying to say is, I don't show my feet to you, a, a, a young lady or anybody, oh, you, unless, unless, I deem you worthy enough of seeing my me completely naked, i.e., my feet. I feel but like that's something throw, where it's like if I do that, it's like okay, I'm completely a hundred percent allowing you to see me fully. That's me. Granted, yes, because you see my dick, all that. Yes, clearly. But my now you see me completely naked, no socks, no nothing. It's like oh yes, this is something in, in, intimate for me. So, Barry, I mean, question, Barry, question. You'll rather show your your private parts than your feet. Yes. Okay. Now. I'm not. I'm not saying that that's wrong. Obviously, that's how you feel. I can't mm-hmm. judge that, right? I just think is is weird, and just on some intelligent shit that you'll put the part that you can touch this lady private parts and like actually like get a disease and die or some shit. Mm-hmm. Like it's actually important. It's like my nigga, show show them all your feet. You'll be fine. It's like, but if you if you put your dick in everybody, you die. Like I don't. But you like nah, fuck that. If you see my baby toe, nigga. Cause I, that's just. I agree, I, I agree with Dame right now. It's not, agree it's with not the most important. Thing. No, but Dicks. I'm not. Whoa, listen, understand yeah. something. Clearly, yeah. I don't. That feet is not something that I find to be an attractive thing on any human being. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I, I it agree. Doesn't matter. I'm not a pretty. feet guy. I don't fuck with. I'm not. I, no, I want to agree there. But you know what I'm saying? saying? So now, so God, with that, you're shitting me. Oh, 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 a woman with a nice, pretty. No, of feet. course you can. Uh, you can appreciate sure, like no 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 white toes, pink toes, baby blue toes, like that shit is pretty. What are you talking about? No no it's, no, it's pretty, no, that's not what we're saying. I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't, I just don't. Number one, I just don't care. I'm not a foot guy. No, so if it's I, pretty, I'm just like, oh, that's pretty. If it's not, no, if pretty, it's I'm a like, pretty well, foot, a foot, it's a pretty. There's some women with gorgeous <laughs> feet. I'm not saying that the foot yeah. is not pretty. Foot you is walk pretty. on this, like, but I'm not about to sit here and be like, yeah, like oh, I gotta see if no, no, like we have. I know people who are into feet. I'm not into feet. Like I'm not into feet either. I'm not about to sit here and I'm not the type to rub your feet and I, that's not that's just not my mo. That's not my type of thing. That's what I mean by say yo feet is not something on my radar. So now Some for me to do are, that, though. huh? I mean, well, okay. So 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 I, I guess I guess we're we're slightly getting away. We were talking about the functionality of socks versus dark. no socks. <laughs> that's that's kind of that's, that's, that's kind of what we're talking about here. Right? We're talking about the functionality of socks versus no socks. Right. Barry and I was just saying, saying, that if, Barry's saying that if on the bed socks don't matter, which they makes don't. sense because everything comes from the knees. So yeah, at that right. point, I get it. 
if she's turned around, face down, ass up, and we're both on a bed, it's literally the knees holding our grip and the hip is thrusting. I get now, it. Now, if you if you backing up on that, then you got a lot of core work to do. So what what, what I'm saying is, if we go the opposite. If we're not on the bed, if knees are not on the bed, she's throwing it back. You standing there tall as you are mm. with your feet planted on the floor. Mm-hmm. Right. You're not giving effective strokes with socks on. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Not. You either have to put on shoes or take you're, your socks off. You're not. Right. You got you to right. either put some Tim's on with your Yankee fitted. You Whoa. feel me? And you, you gotta, real strong. You, you real strong in there. And plant. Or no, you just take, take your, your foot socks and this plant, is nigga. There's no way you're planting your feet on the hardwood floor with socks on. Or she got to be this small. And then Barbie like big women, so I don't even really... Yeah, Barbie like, like big you, women. You like big, thick women. I don't even believe you, bro. Because she, she, Barbie she, getting no. thrown back I, with socks on. Saying, no, Listen, I'm not going, bro. Like, you don't like... I don't, care how, women, much, I don't bro. care how much you deadlift, bro. Like, what is your deadlift... It's not yeah, Olympic yeah, weight. I'm not going, bro. I'm it's not, not Olympic I'm not going weight. This is real weight for the camera, but I don't believe you. Whatever yeah, you're talking about, bro, you're not deadlifting everybody. You're not No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm listen, don't work you like plant that. your foot in the Fuck floor. You, like, nah, you can plant bro. all you want, but if you got socks, and, and you know you be wearing them little cute socks, and little slidey dress sock looking joints. Yeah, yeah. You slidey little socks. green socks, nigga. Yeah, them shit. You slide like a motherfucker now. You slide, bro. slide like a motherfucker, yeah. You. Plant your feet, bro. That's all I gotta <laughs> say. You can plant, plant your all feet. you want. Anyway, let's Ain't move on. Ain't got shit to do with it. <laughs> let's, let's move yeah, on, y'all. So, we gonna talk about this. <laughs> five minutes sex. Is it enough? I say no. Y'all say yeah. We got it. You know. In the comments oh, oh, below. I'm, sir, sir, I, I did not say yeah. I also said no, it's not good enough. So don't say y'all say yeah. No, he said consistently. No, remember, consistently, well, consistently said no. changed it. He but changed But then it, when you know, said and, no, remove the consistently, you he said moved yeah. He moved the goalposts. He moved the no, goalposts I, 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 Okay, I don't know if you want to rewind the show, but what I said I was five minutes sex is not cool. So what I said was five minutes sex is not good enough, period. No. That's what I said. What? But I gave you a couple scenarios where you said, okay, I can see that. That That's all. I just want to point out. Cool. I, and then, I, I, I was just clarifying what Barry said. He said, I said no, y'all say yeah. But the, you, I, I, I was just I saying, let's you go right. on. You was right. Oh, Willa. You, 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 the fucking, you. At the end of the day, I, I say this, fellas, stop giving that mediocre dick. Mm, talk that shit. That, that's what I'm going to say. At the end of the day, stop giving out mediocre dick. Now, if you got a if you got a, a, a medical condition and you just got ED, you got erectile dysfunction. You said E what? ED. Oh, I think okay. you said something erectile, else. Erectile dysfunction. If, if you got ED and you're working through it, then by all means, I'm not sex shaming. Y'all work through your problems. Get get to where you need to get to. But five minute sex to me is not good enough i'm yeah, sorry no lady doesn't want just five minute dick from you fellas you 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 gotta you want to know why because i in, in my life i've had the, the the conversation where he's just not good enough he's not adequate enough when there's nothing he can do to be there so now i'm in your inbox yeah so fellas, five minute five minutes ain't enough fellas enough. five minutes not. is not enough make sure you come with that shit you know Call with the lumber. Lay the wood. Be strong. Put that work down. Because if not, she calling with the Wednesdays to finish Lay up. Lay that now, pipe. And now you Ooh. mad. Putting in that work. You understand, fellas? So please, don't get Yo, your girl left. What's, what's the next happy girl topic? Mediator, like model with the roll call, select decision, Barry, what the fuck we talking about next? Uh, Let's talk about Little boys and vasectomies. Wow. <clears throat> so can I? Okay, go ahead. You wanna you wanna introduce a guy? Do you think? Uh, cool. So uh, there's a video floating around. Um, a mother to eleven year old boy. Keyword on boy, eleven year old. Um, because she's had a, a negative interaction with a male. Um, she doesn't want her son to go down that route. So, her answer to that is, I'm gonna give him a vasectomy at 14, so he can he can have kids at a young age. Um, she's also banking on the fact that vasectomies can be reversible, 
and you can unvasectomize. I made up a word, but you can unvasectomize an individual so that they can't have kids at a proper age, quote unquote. And that's what we're talking about now. So um, when I heard the, the the story of the young lady and her son, it, it the, my question is, when is that too young? And is she disrespecting her child to have a vasectomy? Mm. Let's talk about it. Is fourteen too young? For sure. That's not even a. That's not. A, <laughs> have a vasectomy? <laughs> of course. I don't even think that's a question. Um, yeah, fourteen. I mean, it, I feel like that. First off, she today she's nuts because she's projecting her trauma onto her son, which is first off crazy. That's the, that's the Thanks. first major issue with it because your baby daddy or the, your your son's father was ain't shit. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. now you're automatically assuming that your son is gonna be ain't shit, which is crazy. Instead of you, for one, doing the right par- the good parenting and the right parenting to make sure your son doesn't end up like that. And even if he necessarily does have a child at an early age, hold him accountable and make sure that he does the right thing by being there for his child. But no, you want to do the opposite and straight up have and take away fertilization from your son, knowing that it possibly can't be reversed. And then stating that, hey, you know, he can do in vitro by getting the sperm out of his testicles. But even when doing that, in vitro is not even 100%. I know a lot of people who've done in vitro and they women lose babies that way. A lot of women get damaged and can't even carry children after that. Mm. Doing in vitro. So, there's a lot, a lot of risk by you putting your son in that situation. Now your son can't even have kids because you were scared about your son having kids. I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to go a step further. And, hey, I'm the radical one, right? So what's up? Let's talk about it. Um, That's rape. Oh, wait. Why? Yeah. Taking taking away someone's choice. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Yeah. Taking away someone's choice. Wait, before you go that far, let's look up the word rape first. Okay, look it up. Look it up. I'll wait, I'll, I'll wait for the definition. But for a, woman, for a woman, yes, you are the mother. And yeah. I get it. That child is a minor. But okay. for a mother to take away the choice okay. you ready for to it? have this procedure, this surgical <laughs> procedure, that is rape to me. Uh, the first definition they have is unlawful sexual activity and usually sexual intercourse carried out carried out forcibly or under threat of injury against a person's will we- or with a person who is beneath a certain age or incapable of valid consent because of mental illness, mental deficiency, intoxication, consciousness, or deception. I, hon- I honestly feel like we already proved the point with the first definition that you just read. Oh, hold on. Is there a second definition? Really? No, no, says- wait, 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 wait. So, so let me just say why I feel like the first definition said it all. We now said underaged. We said forcible. And I wish I had a third, but the two stands to me. Underage <laughs> and forcible. Because I have power over you, you are underage. I'm going to forcibly put this procedure on you because of my personal fears. It's not a fact behind it. It's not a fact that 14, 13 year olds are going to have kids. No, I right. don't. Th- Will, I think it's more so sexual misconduct than rape. I don't think it's I'm, rape. I'm, I'm, the, okay, I'm so, sorry, but I'm, I'm with you. Rape. I get where you're going. I get where you're going, though. I do Can you do me a favor? Going. Can you if do me you a favor me, just you real let quick? me defend myself, I will, but go ahead, Dane. I, I just want to say, is it two definitions? You read yeah, the, the other first one, one was um the other one was an outra- the other one was an, an an outrageous um violation. That's all it said. That's it? Yeah, that's the other then it went into how rape is a herd word or mashed up grapes and shit like that. Okay, so cool. So so having a vasectomy at the age of 14, that's not an outrageous violation? No, I get it. That was the reason why I said, if we just get to the second definition, yeah. I think you're right. I'm a pretty smart guy. 
I no, it, it, it is rape. <laughs> it is rape. That uh, mother, whoever she, that mother may be, yeah. with her 11 year old going to be 14 year old, eventually year old boy, that is rape if you put a vasectomy on that young man. Hmm. And I stand by that. She. You are raping that boy. You are okay. taking away his right to choose. You are taking away his right to be an individual. You are mm. taking away his right of choice. Mm. What if, what if he's the world's greatest father? Yeah. Wow. At it, fourteen, it, it, you because you took away that man's right yeah. to choose. You raped him. Yeah. I don't. And it, it, it may sound crazy, but I'm going to use a trigger word that the world is using now. That's rape culture. Don't do that. Mm, don't, don't do rape, that. Don't rape what, what, the kids. Don't rape your son. Mm. What happens? What 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 happens or what should happen is you should be a parent. You and should. That's what saying. You, you should allow that child to make their own decision, but be the voice of reason. Be the the beacon. Be the shining light in their life that they see what is right and what is wrong. So, do not. Right. Make that decision for that young man. So I fuck with it. I'm, I'm, because I'm, a, I'm gonna, a vasectomy, that's I'm a gonna, fucking medical procedure. That man is going under the knife. They so can what die. I'm gonna do, what I'm going to do, right, is, 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 is I'm going I'm to try to, I'm, I'm going to try to not necessarily shoot her some bail, but give some more info to the reasoning by what behind why she said she wanted to do this specific procedure to her son. She was stating that a lot of times we don't have the conversations about um, to young men about preventing birth or having children at early ages the same way we have these conversations with young girls. Young girls will tell them, hey, save yourself until marriage or save yourself to someone special or whom, however you may feel. But pretty much protect yourself at all costs to young girls, whereas with young men, the conversation is completely different. We tell I, we I, I, Barry, I, Barry, wait, I, Let me just I, 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 finish I, I just, saying what the young lady said first before you 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 cut me up. She was all she was trying to say in the end or the crux of it. She pretty much said, "Listen, all I'm trying to do is get awareness around young men and having some type of protection for young men against sex." That's in a in a crazy roundabout way. That's what she was trying to do. Now, was she right about how she was doing it? No. But I get what she was trying to say in terms of there should be because what she tried to say is there should be a form of um, birth control for men, which people were <laughs> saying is condoms. But she was like, no, something specifically for men, because how there's birth control for women, they can take pills an IUD. They can take uh, the Nuva ring. They can take the shot. Yeah. All these different forms for women to have birth control. Why is there no form of birth control for men besides a condom? Because a condom can break or a pop, I'm sorry. And then after that, a young man can get a young lady pregnant. But now if he has a vasectomy, even with wearing a condom, because a condom can prevent STDs and stuff like that, this young man can now stop him, will be prevented from having a child too early if he's not ready. Because the act of sex can happen at any point in time. But if he has a vasectomy, the child won't be born early when he's not ready or he's ill-prepared to take care of a child. That's what she was trying to get to. Now, I'm not saying she's right. I'm just trying to give you the facts of what she was trying to say first. You, I'm, I, I, I'm on your side, Will. I'm just trying to give you the information. You want to sh- go off the, come off the hip, and you know what I'm saying? Read the survey to field first, point guard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck her and fuck you. How about <laughs> that? Why you got to fuck me? I don't want to fuck you. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. If, 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 if this is where we at with it, then I'll be a thousand percent on my side, and that's what makes the show so great. <laughs> we're 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 unscripted. We're 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 pure. We're raw with it. Um, she's bugging the fuck out. She's bugging the fuck out because mm. on the flip side, on the flip side, we can say, let's make sure that women don't have babies. Period, and then we can have a mm. procedure that can undo what we did. No, mm. if. if, if if we're going to be pro-choice, let's be pro-choice. If we're going to be pro-life, then let's be pro-life. It's the same thing. The it's same just like way getting we, her tube side. 
and then, the same and then thing untie her to well, what, what I'm saying is the same thing we can't tell a woman what to do with their body. You cannot tell a man what to do with their body. I agree. What we can do is educate that young man and that young woman, right? Let me give you the tools so that you can make an educated decision on what you're doing, right? So me then, personally, wait, wait, let me let me go. Me personally, I lost my virginity at 13. Was it too young? Absolutely. I have a seven-year-old son right now. Do I want him to have sex at 13? No, I do not. But what I will do for my seven-year-old son, I will let him know the pros and the cons, what will happen, what might possibly happen, the negatives of what happens if you do this too early. She's trying to take away the role of the parent. Be a fucking parent to your kid. Let them know let them know what might happen, what will happen, what can possibly happen if you do yeah. X, Y, and Z. I we, we, yeah. a vasectomy. So yeah, my, it's so a, so it's a, it's a little, it's a little, it's definitely a little bit extreme. No, it's what? You know what I'm saying? No, it, 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 it's it probably is the, the, it's probably the most extreme thing that you can do. Right. And then and then I, I watched the video too, because um, people because what happened when she put it out talking is fuckery, which we know is fuckery. Right. And um, people were, you know, commenting and retorting back. And so she was constantly putting out more videos right. coming back. And then when she, she she fucked me up, when she was like, well, what we can do is we could get some of his semen right. um, from his while testicles. he's young, from his testicles when he's young and 14. So that means that he'll still be able to have babies. No, you can do it. Ready. You can do it. You can do it at any point in time in his age. Apparently, you can do it as a okay. grown man. It's just a well, fact. Hey. hey, man, fair enough. But at the end of the day, we talking about a fourteen year old. Oh, kid. for sure. That's something you that know what you I'm don't... saying. So right. that so, is rape. So at so at fourteen, that is the most extreme shit. And then it doesn't hit on. It doesn't fix. It doesn't fix the main issue, which is her vitriol. Oh, come through college. Her vitriol for men because this right. whole shit is, is because based off of trauma that she based has. off some trauma that she had. And like right. you said, Jay, she needs to be a parent. So. Don't just throw that shit on and fu- don't just fuck up your kids because your shit fucked up. That <laughs> don't make no sense. Facts. And that's you know what that, that reminds me of. Black- well, I was just gonna say we as black people do that a lot. You can <clears> say <throat> what that reminds you of. I'm sorry. It reminds me of remember growing up, right? The number one thing we as not necessarily me, you know what? Yes, me or any other person or any other young man has heard or any other kid has heard in the black community. You better mm. not come in my house with no babies. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 100%. Instead of you having a conversation about how babies are co- brought forth to the world, what it means to have a baby, how the, you know what I'm saying, the moments Bro, leading up told. to it, that's it's a different conversation. If you have if you have the right conversation, instead of you telling me, "Yo, you better not bring no babies in my house," that's all I know. Well, you, you know what's hey. a better you, you know what's a better conversation, Bari, to piggyback on what you're saying because I mm-hmm. agree with you. The better conversation is, listen, baby, this is what I went through. Right, And because this is what I went through, I have you, the greatest gift that I've ever been given. But I don't want you at this tender young age to go through this. Right. So if you did this, this, and this, you wouldn't be where I was. You wouldn't have to struggle where I am struggling. You wouldn't have to do what I did to make your life X, Y, and Z if you just do this. But you the, thing know is, the thing is, us... We don't want to be parents no more. Mm-hmm. And that's what it is. And and, 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 and and I can say that as a parent, we want YouTube to raise our parents. We want the fucking kids, tablets kids, 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 kids. and we want the fucking the school. Ooh, the system. We want the, the political system. We want the, the, the fucking prison system to raise our kids. But if we just do what we got to do as parents from jump, we won't have to worry about this. And also part of the problem as well for her is the fact that I don't even think it's, she doesn't want to, but I feel like she's scared to. She's scared to be a parent. Why? Because she probably sees all. Because she made the mistake so early and so young, she doesn't know. She probably hasn't fully developed herself as an adult, period. Forget the trauma that she's been through with men, about men, however, anything involving men. She probably fully hasn't developed as an adult yet herself. So because of that, having a child scares her so much that she feels like 
I already don't know what to do with the one I have here. So if the one I have here that I don't know what to do with has one as well, I'm going to have two motherfuckers that I don't even know how to handle. So now all I'm going to do is stress the fuck out. So in her own inadverted, retarded... Wait, 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 wait. In in her own inadverted, retarded way, she's trying to prevent herself from going crazy. Now, I'm not agreeing with it. All I'm saying is I understand the psyche of her not... Because she just doesn't know what to do. She's doing some dumb shit. You just trying to pick an answer... And that's the one you came up with with your dumb ass. Right. I it's like it. I, I understand because it's like, yo, you're, it's like she's dumb trying to answer. she's trying to help herself. And because she's trying to help herself, she picks the stupidest answer. But because yeah. it's the stupidest answer and that's the only one that makes sense of her brain, she's running with it. You know what I'm saying? Because she just doesn't know what to do. And the only thing she knows what to do in terms of helping herself and helping her son is, fuck it, don't have no babies. So the only way I can stop you from having a baby is cutting off your sperm. It's like, what? Huh? Uh, 30 so second then, time out. Why we gotta? So I, I, I honestly think we all get it. Seriously. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> I think we get it, man. Um, we, Shorty's bugging. No, she's we, more than bugging. And, and who, whoever, whoever's on this train of thought is also bugging. Whoever she's defends bugging. this is bugging. No, they wildin'. Whoever thinks that this is a viable answer to the solution oh. or the answer to the problem is right. bugging. I tagged you in it, Willa, right? You need to go. I, I firmly feel like you need to go look at the comments. There wasn't one yes, at the most. Most people in the comments were just on some shit like, yo, I get where she I get where she's coming from in the sense of her trauma. But I she doesn't understand that. I, no, my, my brain, Willa, 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 I, take the moment. Call, call me ignorant. Call me ignorant. Right. Real quick. Call me ignorant. But. I like refuse, <laughs> no, I refuse <laughs> to even wrap my brain around something so no. stupid. That is ignorant. Bro, you, but it's you are, but you okay, wait, 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 bar, bar, let me go, let me go. You are so hurt <laughs> as a woman, and you are so hurt in your situation that you're willing to project that onto your child so much but that you have a medical procedure. Wait, wait, can I finish, bro? You would you're you're willing to project that on your child so much that you're willing to put them through a medical procedure that can oh, harm them God. for life. Right. And what I'm saying she went through a negative situation. And what and what I'm saying what I'm saying is that's people were saying, yo, we get where you come we get we get where your pain comes from. I'm not saying they get the procedure part. That's what I'm trying to say to you. I was telling you to read the comments because people were saying, yo, sis. I understand you hurt. I, 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 we not even gonna argue. We not. I'm not even gonna argue the dumb shit you talking about. Cause at this point, ain't not one person in here gonna sit here and defend this fuck shit. We pat like yo. That's one of you know one of them things. Where it's like yo, bro. I already know that shit over there is. For example, Shikari Richardson getting banned from running the Olympics. We already know that's fuck shit. We not even gonna talk about that. We not gonna argue about that point because we know what it is, right? Cool. We talking about the straight up. The crux of the situation. Yo, sis, we understand that the real reason this is happening is not because you don't love your son. It's just you got a problem. And we need you to address the fact that the main reason this is happening is because you have a problem. Nothing, it don't got shit to do with your son. It got something to do with you. And that's where we. That's what I'm getting to. Fuck the, the, the procedure of, 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 of giving her son a vasectomy because we know that shit is nuts. It's like, what can the I, fuck are bring- we talking about? Can I bring another, another, I guess, a, a, a point into this conversation? Um, the point that I would like to say is women have so much and so much control over their kids that they can literally do any and anything. Any and everything. I'm glad you caught that. Yeah, I did. Any and everything for their child, right? <laughs> And because they birthed them, they can do whatever. Right. But a man who also contributed to the birth of that child it's not the doesn't same get those same rights. Of course not. Oh. We know that. Oh. And, and, no, and, and it's, it's, That's it's what funny. we went. No, no. Like I said, I, bro, I, I be thinking, maybe I may, I'm, I may think too deep into it, but this is how I see it. I see a woman making a decision for a child, her child, because she birthed that child. <clears throat> and a man can't say shit about it because we didn't quote unquote birth that child. We're expendable. 
And because we're expendable, we have to deal with whatever decision you make for our child. I'm gonna even go further than now, that. What you talking now, about? Wait, wait, wait. I, I would say that if 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 I'm far that? off, tell me to shut the fuck up. I shut the fuck up because. Th- but that's what I see when when I hear this conversation. It's like, you mean to tell me you can really make that decision for your child, and they can't? They have no right or no say in the matter. The man has no right or no say in the matter. You can just say, I'm going to get a vasectomy for my 11-year-old or my 14-year-old, whatever the case may be, and that's that. And because you're the mother, you can do that. I feel like we put too much power in the role of the mother, and it is what it is. That's my stance. So now on. what I'm going to say is you're yeah, kind of I'll, I'll be that guy. So, that's so. crazy to me. But what I was not, going to say. Not, you're not going to do that to my child. And so I hope what I'm, they, I, Bari, chill real quick. I hope, Dane, that you're not going to do that to Dane's child. And Bari, I hope you're not going to do that to Bari's child. And Wade, I hope you're not going to do that to Wade's child. I just hope that we have strong enough father figures in these kids' lives to be like, you're not going to do that fuck shit to my kid. Because that's bu- you're bugging. So I, I, can salute, I, can, I can salute that. When I'm not arguing that's all that I'm at saying. All. So yeah. what, what, what I was going to even say. And I'll shut up. Now, right? <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you, sir. What I was going to say to even piggyback off of all of it is if this was revert, what people were trying to say and what I heard somebody did say to this young lady, she, they said, um, now let's change this. A father has your daughter. He's raising her. And all of a sudden he says, you know what? My daughter's 11. When she turns 14 and she gets her first period after she starts getting her cycle monthly, I'm going to get her tubes tied. Mm. It changes the. It it definitely changes the. the we don't mode. have that same. You know what I'm saying? Way because so now, we're not when, the when, mother. when we change the parameter, when we change the conversation to another side of it, now what it ends up doing is now it 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 becomes a thing where it's like, wait, how can you how 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 can you put something like that on a young lady at that age, right? Because you got to also remember how people view in society young men. Certain things people view us as is like, hey, you know what? Nah, that young man, he, he a nigga. He could take that. He's a young boy, he could hold that down. Don't worry about that. Your back broad, you strong. Don't worry about it. You figure it out. But the moment now, hey, yo, the number one thing women are looked up, are looked for, are looked upon as a, a, a childbearer. Yo, you give life. You bring forth life. You push it out <clears> of you. <throat> Beautiful thing. Now you're saying, hey, real quick, boom. I'm going to stop you from doing that at 14. It's like, whoa, 30 second time. What are we talking about here? No, I get it. And and it's under, and I feel like it's literally, there is, there is no one bigger than the other. It's literally the same thing because to be your two, I'm not tie, tying your tubes is probably just as dangerous and, and just as it's as, the exact same thing. It's the da- exact like, same thing you know because I've heard like they situations, women, it's the same. It's the same thing. Yeah. Like, they tie you tie your tubes, and it's it's a fifty percent possibility that you can't untie them shits after that. Yeah, it's the same. Just like there's some way. women who burn after a certain age, they burn the tubes. They burn the shit. Yeah, yeah. I, and then yeah, they say, "Oh no, you can unburn. You know, you can put them you back can't. together." It's like there's no way. Sometimes you can't unburn it's like nothing. You, you can't unburn that. <laughs> so now we talking about you can't we, unburn shit. We can unscorch unscorched earth. Like well, yeah, you can't. We, we can't do that, nigga. <laughs> You can't unscorch some shit. Yo, that shit gone, burnt. nigga. It's burnt. It's, it's burnt. You can't unburnt, burnt. You know what I'm saying? Right. So now, the but, conversation but the changed. Thing is, the, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, and this is where, I I don't like the word fair because fair. No, I, this, like no, that, this, this, right? that, I understand so, that, but no, the so, word fair is. is, wait, is wait, so, so I, as men, I feel like we can't use the word fair, right? Because fair kind of means equal. And when we say that, we're held accountable for saying that. I could be wrong, but that's how I feel, right? So if we were to do that, we would be looked at as crazy individuals and we're making the decision for something and it's not our body, it's not our choice and blah, 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 blah. We can't do certain things. Well, all I'm saying is have that equal. It's an equal playing field. I can't make that decision. You can't make that decision. You're not going to do that to my child. I'm not going to do that to your child. Let's let's have it really be equal. 
But no we can't doctor have that on this planet will allow that. We, we can't have that conversation because when we start putting parameters on shit, we're looked at as the oppressors, and I'm it's crazy. Above. No doctor on the planet will perform that procedure on that mother. You can't say that because money reigns supreme, Barry. Yeah, but you want to know, but even if that. she... Well, watch Bro, this. Bro, nah, if, she... if, if that procedure was $20,000, there's some doctor like, fuck it, nigga. It's cool, but the, li- the lawsuit... Oh, you can't, you will, can't listen. Be, why, the re- can't I'm, not to- I'm, not, I'm not talking about the price. She has the bread to do it. Okay, we understand that. Money's green no matter where you go. But the lawsuit implications behind that... Lawsuit? Yeah, that young you're boy. Just, you you you're assuming it went bad. No, what if he legitimately? No, got but a I'm talking. Of, well, I'm not. To, no, was, I'm talking about this. The the what the rant that Willow went on in the first place. This young boy can now get a rape. lawyer and get caught. Could say, hey, you performed the procedure on me that I did not consent to with my body. This is not a emergency medical procedure. It's not like my life was in danger. You had a procedure done on me about me having children. Against my consent. I'm not gonna dra- I'm not gonna dra- so that's why I'm topic. like, yo, I don't see nobody. I don't see that. I don't see. I'm not she's talking dra- shit, gonna, but I don't see it happening. I'm not going to drag this, but I will just say real quick that now I understand what Jay was talking about. Because to be honest, your parents did a lot of shit. Your mom did a lot of shit to you when you was a baby that you don't know. For good or for worse. Um, 30 second but because example. She, because she was I, I, was, I was born with my feet like this. My mom literally put cast on my legs to turn my feet in so I wouldn't be bow-legged and slew-footed like this. You got a good point, Wade. You got a good point, Wade. You, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't hear Wade's point, but I'm just Wade saying said, that. Um, Wade said um, Wade, you were circumcised. You know my bad. Sorry. Exactly. No, but damn it. That's, damn it. I wish I'd have thought about that one. That was even better. Which, I'm talking about me. Yo, that's we mutilation. Was circ- we was that's all mutilation. Yeah, All of us. Well, I, I don't know y'all dicks, but <laughs> oh, yeah. for the most part, niggas is like yeah. mutilation of your child. The woman has the woman mother has all the rights to do that, and we don't bat an eye, we don't blink, right. we don't we think just accept it. We accept it because that is the mother of that child. If so the if the father if the father was like no. Nope, Cut around the tip of the, the, the vagina. Cut it. Mutilate my daughter. Mutilate my daughter. Guess what? The world will have the fuck. Oh, oh that. that's crazy. Well, who so does that? If, if we're talking about the world, the word fair and equal, why do we not have that same gumption, that same wherewithal, that same... Uh, Whatever what word you want to add there, we don't have that word as fathers. But a mother right. can do that. A mother can say, you know what? Cut that shit off. And, and and furthermore, get a vasectomy. And then we'll see if we can reverse it. Right. That's what that woman is saying. And because she's the mother of that child, she can do so. But as a man, we can't do that. And what I'm saying is that right there is wrong. We took away... If, if we're so pro-choice, we're pro-life, whatever. I don't know what the fucking word is, but if we're so pro whatever, is, we should take the word of the child, right? Fuck woman, man, fuck what he say, she say. It should be what the word of that child is saying. If the child is like, no, mommy, I don't want that, and you're like, well, I'm your mother, we gonna do it. The father's like, no, don't do it. Guess what? It's gonna happen because the mother consented. Yeah. It's All right, like, that's, that's deep. That's deep, man. That's, that's an deep, issue. At the end, at the that's a problem day. that we gotta talk about. At the end, of that's the all day. I'm saying. So look, yeah. tune in next week when we get into that in depth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> once it, like, I'm just we, we we are all on the same page that's about a this. A, that's a hell of a concept. Though. We we gonna talk about that later. Yeah. That's we are all on the same page in terms of this mother. This mother wilding because she is legit a hundred and. 10%. She's bugging the fuck out. She's bugging the fuck out. Yeah. She, I, I hope to God, I, I hope to God she gets some type of therapy and counseling for her trauma because until mm-hmm. her trauma is dealt with, her son is not gonna be safe in that house mentally. I mean, but she didn't do time. it. She just no. It was she said a she's hypothetical. Like she's she, he's it, eleven right now. So she, she has, was like, "Yo, I'm really considering this shit." And her yeah. looking at her, considering the shit, and her, listening to her defend. 
the shit that she was saying, it came off real scary. So like I said, praise to that young lady. I hope she gets the therapy she needs to fix her shit. Because until she fix Word. her shit, that son is always going to be going through some shit with his mom because Word. of her bullshit. Oh, you going to just fuck these other and, and, and get I mean, her pregnant. To, to be honest, to be honest, if, if it was up to the mom, she'll never had a conversation because she'll be fucking spayed and neutered at the age of eleven, and she won't have that problem. There's no way he can have a teenage child. He can't be in the situation that she was in because she fixed it. And and and, and, right. it, and because of her trauma, the only thing she's worried about is not him mentally being okay. She's just worried about him putting himself in a position or putting another young lady in a position like her, his father did to her. Instead of being a good parent and having that conversation with that child, Hey, this could possibly happen. But her Don't trauma do doesn't, a, her trauma doesn't allow her to, unfortunately, but, but, but that's what, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like we, we put so much power and emphasis into her hands. She can do whatever she wants with her child. That is but damaging. We don't, we don't, the, the, I don't want to keep talking about it, but we don't know what this father is. But if we go off of the basis of what she's saying, he's not there. So there is no father in the picture. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, which sucks about it. So it's not like, it's not even like we can, if we follow the narrative of that story, if the, the if the nigga's not even in the picture, we can't even go to the father and be like, yo, she about to cut your little nigga shit off, bro. We can't mm-hmm. even do that. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately. So that's facts. It's all that she has to make an uh, 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 educated or an uneducated decision for her son because he's not there based off of how, how she feels from her trauma, unfortunately. So, fellas, be there for your kids. Be there for your, the, your, the mother of your child so she doesn't have to go through these crazy feelings and emotions and traumas by herself so she don't do something stupid with your kids and vice versa because clearly if we by ourselves, we're going to do dumb shit like give our kids vasectomies. <laughs> no, you laughing, bro. I'm being dead ass. You can't tell me I'm bugging for saying that. Be there for your, be there for your kids and be there for your child's parents. Nah, you right. You, you right. Because you right. clearly she's by herself. And because she's by herself, she's making stupid ass choices. Whereas now if the nigga was there, oh, uh, she's not going to have, there's no vasectomy to even be talking about. Because so, I'm not letting that fly. We fighting. Like, no, straight up, not for nothing. I don't hit one with me and her fight. you talking about? We fight. We're not even gonna get into that, but um, hey, hey, the last and final topic paying for pussy. <laughs> you see how that paying for pussy. You don't see how the, the irony of you know, you paying pussy having babies now, you now your child got a vasectomy, nigga. This is- all right, so let's get it, bro. Yeah. I, will, <laughs> pussy I will say that that's that's a great segue. <laughs> that's a great segue. Can Damn, y'all, I'm sorry. You know I'm saying, but um, yeah. Read the text, man, and get it started. Yeah. Uh, in 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 this in this little statement that was said, a young gentleman, shout out to him. He said, "Uh, yeah, I pay. Yeah, I buy pussy, not because I need to." But I'm really t- just too busy and too grown to try to finesse the draws off. I didn't know that's how you spell draws. But okay. I got more money than time. So now, I want to know, how do you feel about this, fellas? Do y'all, would y'all be interested in paying for pussy? Instead of spending time finessing some draws off of a woman? Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I feel indifferent and I don't like the terminology because the word is finessing, right? Finessing means I'm backhanding, I'm doing something that you think is this, but I'm trying to underhand my way into some pus- I, I don't Finesse like has been taken in wrong connotations of late. Yeah. Which, Fine- and it doesn't necessarily mean that. It's just a negative connotation. What I would yeah. what I will say is if you if we want to take a step back a ma- a macro and look down at the micro, you can say that men quote unquote pay for pussy, right? You can say that. Um, right. We we pay for the dates and or vacations and or 
late nights or like we pay for that. You want to go to a hotel? We pay for that. You want like we pay for that. So I get, I guess, in the long scheme, the long game, you can say that, right? I, I still disagree with this statement though. I disagree wholeheartedly because yeah, I, I, I don't think that we're paying for box. No, he says he yeah he wants. To, it, he didn't say I want. No, 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 no. What he's what he's saying is. I don't have time. I have money. So because I have money, let me just cover whatever needs to be covered. Let me get straight to it. And that's that. I disagree because what that takes away is the human elephant, elephant, <laughs> elements. Elephant. <laughs> it takes away, yeah. It takes away the human element of things. And what that is, the connection that we will have or may have, it takes away the fact that we can really hit it off. It takes away the fact of me and you, really connect on a deeper level that eventually that young lady would want to give herself to me. Yeah. I, I would and, and, and call, call me a, a, a realist or a, I don't whatever know the, the fucking word. Realist, whatever the word is. Yeah. That thing. Call, call me that guy. But I, I do feel like a connection has to be made. I feel like two individuals have to see each other in that light before that can happen. So, so I'm not just going to introduce money and say, hey, I got all the money in the world. What's up? I don't got no time. I just want to get the box. And that's that. Mm-hmm. I, 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 can't, I can't go Did that you go, far. Barry? I just don't see it. I was going to say, because I've been doing this show for a while, and even though I went to the bathroom, I'm pretty sure Barry didn't go first. I'm pretty sure Jay did. <laughs> Uh, no, okay, stop it. He he posed the question to me. No, I posed <laughs> it to y'all. Right, okay, okay, okay. I'm you talking left. shit. I'm talking shit. I'm talking shit. I'm talking I posed shit. It to y'all. I posed it to y'all. But what he's trying to say is you, 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 your points be. Nah, I no, 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 no. But I love it because Jay always like, nah, fuck that. I'm going first. I got it. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna shut up then. How about that? I'm done um, talking. Let me I puff my face. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. What what you think, Barry? I know you posed a question. I only heard. Um, I agree. I, I I I I don't like the terminology of paying for pussy because I'm a man of the, the thought process. Like when that you and that young lady connect for real, and you got her mm-hmm. mind, and I don't mean it in a negative way when I say this. I right, Andrew Cuomo. Better be careful. You got right. her mind. And I don't mean it like that. And even the term finesse, I I've said I believe in the word finesse, finesse. but not in a negative way. I believe it in a sense of you and a person are vibing. You say what you say the you say the proper things to a young lady. You you treat her well. You move the right way. Be a we gonna be going to court for you, bro. We are gonna be going to court for you, man. We gonna be, <laughs> we gonna be okay, going to court. I, I, I guess you uh, finessing. Me, but you gonna be nonetheless, going to court, bro. with all of those, with all of that being said, it doesn't require money to get anything that you want from this young lady if you put in the proper work and the proper necessary energy into the situation. If you feel like you just want some <laughs> pussy, cool. I, get, I, I mean, I guess. I'm only laughing because I see Jay face. I, I, uh, can, I, can I rephrase I what you it. said a little better? Well, I, I, don't, I can't see his face. So let, me know, let, me know, let, let me know if you agree with what I'm about to say real quick. Yeah. I just want to know. All right. So, so, so here's what I think. Wait, I think what you... Will the face look crazy? I know. No, 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 no. I, no, he was shaking his head at what you were saying. And I just want to see um, if if I can rephrase this. I want to know if you agree with me. Mm-hmm. I think what you're saying is if you meet a person and sex is something that's supposed to happen, mm-hmm. then it will happen whether money is involved or not, because that's how two people meet. And as grown adults consenting, of course, absolutely, <laughs> then it should happen. It's not about finessing or about. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, no, no, said, but that's what I just want to say it correctly. Is a negative because no, no, no because the way I, no, bro, you was really Andrew Cuomo ish a couple seconds ago. No, you know, but like, like I, but but you know this saying? is the part that you missed nah, about you, it. But the way, wait, wait. I didn't hear what he part. said. You're right. But I was just right. This is the part that you missed about it. We <laughs> said you was like, well, if I got the box and I ain't pay no money, I'm saying what I'm trying to say. I didn't say that. That's not what I said. I'm saying finesse. Finessing is has been in recent times been taken under a negative connotation. It necessarily doesn't have to be that. 
And I don't because it is negative. It's not finesse me, it's is a not. very bad word. Finesse is ve- bro to finesse is a very negative term, bro. So let's let's throw that let's, away. Let's, let's to finesse this. anything means that I backhanded, underhanded. I took something from you without you knowing. That's very negative. And, let's and, throw that word finesse away. And, and I just want to say one more thing. Just because we say the word. Listen, finesse means intricate and refined delicacy. That's the first definition for finesse. <sighs> Bari, okay, we're grown, right? You're not using it like that. You, you may have Googled what finesse means. Hold on. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go. Let me but go. You know I me, bro. Throwing. What's the second definition? I, I, okay, look, 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 look. Go to definition go? two. I'm just, can I read, just read the definitions, Willa? Doing something in a subtle and delicate manner. Intricate and refined delicacy. Okay. All right. Can I go or you're going to overtalk me again? You overtalking everybody. Shoot. Fight you. We make sure it's a finesse shot. We understand what the Webster Dictionary of a word may mean. But when we, the culture, take a word, we can spin it however we want it to. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, when we say finesse, we don't ever mean anything that's positive. And like finesse, when we say it, it's not a positive word. It's a negative word. And I made true. you do something that you didn't want to do. And I like, finessed you. He's and, speaking the fact, boy. I'm sorry. And, and know, what I that, like, I said. That, wait, let, wait, let me finish. That's what finesse means. So you can read all your definitions huh? and you can make it sound you, good. Man. I'm gonna keep it a buck. What finesse means is you, I'm doing, I'm gonna do something or say something. To get you out of character so I can get what I want. And that's and what, what I, finesse means. Jason, I understand that, right? And what I said was what I deemed the word finesse to be is not what the urban dictionary. I literally, we said this in the beginning, and I literally pro- continued my statement to say that the definition that I have for finesse is not that definition for finesse. So you cannot right. now tell me so the, to not so place the, the word. That I so actually literally that, mean it to be I, I, I something this. else. Real quick, real quick. Go the one thing that, wait, just on my bad, my bad. I just want to say this real quick. Just because you don't feel that a certain word should be a certain way, that's kind of on you. I could say, well, I raped her, but that don't mean what y'all mean rape to be. I'm using it the way I use it. No, but it's like my word, nigga. But, but the you word, still, but you, but you no, see, no, no. do you see how that? I would, I would, I would go with you if the word literally meant something else. But the word literally. The word literally meant but this. But you're literally using the word for something different. I'm literally you're using it for exactly what it was. No, 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 no. I literally used the word for exactly what it was. I. Ex- I you understand? I'll, I'll concede. You know what I'm saying? It's different if the I made some shit up and said it's different. No, I literally used the word for exactly what it meant, Damon. You can't say okay. I'm not. So you, you got the pussy delicately. Come on now. He don't even see what I... I said you got the pussy. The... Go ahead, Jason. Go ahead, go ahead, Willa. You go don't ahead, even Willa. see it. You don't even see what Barry, I did. Mean. <laughs> what I'm gonna say is this: um, we on this show, we we've adopted the term more times than not, uh-huh. right? Uh huh. So, because you feel a way about something, that is your way of feeling, and we can't take that away from you. Mm-hmm. But society has taken this word, right? And society is bigger than you, Bari, right? And more times than not, when you use the word finesse, it's not in a positive connotation. Am I wrong for saying that? It's like I'm playing you. Wait, so, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, I asked the question to yeah, Bari so you answer I'm, the question. Ask, my oh, my bad. You came. Yeah, I said, yeah, yeah, no, I'm with you. Cool. That's so cool. what I'm saying is with the same conversation we had with women when, when we were saying, yo, women do blah, 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 blah. And they're like, no, we don't. I don't do that. And we're like, okay, you might not, but majority of you do. It's the same mm-hmm. thing I'm going to say to you, Bari. You might not think that finesse is a negative word, but society, if I'm not bro, I, that I, point. I work in sales, I'm not if, arguing I that point, into, bro. if I finesse you into doing something that I wanted to do, right. I duped you. I got I'm you. Not- I'm, I'm, so, so you know, 
I took advantage I'm not, of. So, I'm not. So, 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 okay, so let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. What, what I'm saying is the word finesse is not a positive word, bro. And if I, I what I'm saying is you, we already established that how people perceive something to I be. I just would like to finish, bro. I, I let everybody talk. I raised my hand. I, I raised my hand. I was sh- I was quiet. What I want to say is. The, the word finesse, even though you're reading the Webster Dictionary off of Google or whatever you're reading it the fuck from, what I'm saying is finesse is not a positive word in the culture. So if I have to finesse you into doing something, you didn't want to do it. I smoothed it over. I made it so that you think that it's okay, but it's not okay. I finessed you. Delicately. Delicately. So whatever word you want to insert here, I finessed you. You didn't want to do it. I made you do it. I finessed you. I raped you. Going to what what Dane was saying. It's the same terminology we're using. I I raped you delicately. What happens is you didn't want to do it, but because I'm a quote-unquote smooth talker, (laughs) I'm a smooth dude, whatever the case may be, I made you do something you did not want to do. I finessed you. To me, it's a negative connotation. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, so you so can let, read all the so definitions let's get it back. you want to My bad, my bad, my bad. Shit. We, we, we got off on the words, and y'all know that's what we right. do. So I'm just, um, So let me just, if I can bring it back. So paying for pussy. <laughs> Remember that? It, it, yes. Um, no, what, bro, what, what I'm saying coincides with that. If a man, if a, this, this guy pretty much is saying, I have money, I don't have time. I'd rather just pay for your services. But that's, but I, that's, that's what I, this conversation but I, is about. But but and and I'm so sorry. And and low key, if, even if you want to uh, fucking erase the finesse conversation in real life, I have a cross opinion. Okay. I understand okay. what you said about sex, um, but I do understand the concept um, of just paying for it because I feel like we pay for it anyway. Like legitimately, we go on dates, we pay for movies. We pay for Uber rides. We pay for lifts. I, damn, we, we I, pay I, for, I, I, you missed that whole part I, of the conversation. I, yeah, you, oh, you, you missed, I came in bro, later. I, you, word I missed for word, missed the, said, you missed the whole bro, part of the conversation, Dave. Word for word, I said the same thing you you're saying now, but you just weren't here to hear it. My, no, I had to pee. I, no, no, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, bro, I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying no, no, whatever. But, you, but you said whatever that. you're saying okay, right now, I, I piggyback and I agree. Well, someone already said years. this. Someone already yes. said this. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right, cool. So then what is the synopsis of that part? So then you agree with paying for pussy? Is that... I know, I know. It comes I'm up saying, that you pay. I, you I'm saying pay. personally I disagree with this statement because you may think that I pay for the dates, I pay for this, I pay for that. I'd rather just pay for the pussy. That's where the word finesse came out. That's where it came from. It's like, I feel wholeheartedly that's a finesse, right? All right, 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 right. I'm, I'm, I'm persuading you to do something, excuse me, that I want to do ultimately without going through all the hoops. I got you. I but let me, just, let me just speak to one point because it's okay. 2021 now. Yes. Women are transactional now. Women di- disagree. It's okay. Please disagree, but just let me finish my statement. Yes, sir. A lot of women are transactional. <laughs> you know, I got to speak it the right way. Not all, not every. A I lot disagree. Of, a lot, I, we know Jay disagrees, everyone. I just want to finish. Yes. I, I'm, I'm going to continue to say it. Cool. A lot of women are transactional. Now, it's not their fault. It's really just because of the way that life is, we now live in a society where women get paid for pussy in so many different ways. It's not just like, hey, how you doing? Here's a 50. No, she has OnlyFans. She's getting paid for pussy. She could be a stripper. It, she's getting paid for pussy. It could be a date, da-da-da, couple whatever, you sit blah blah cash app she's getting paid for pussy so so the new woman the the 2021 woman is like okay she walks into it understanding that oh it's a bag to be gotten just by my pussy now mind you this is the oldest uh pussy selling and making money off of it is the oldest fucking sales gig since the beginning of time but today we live in a transactional era 
So if her video is funny on IG, she's like, hit the cash app. If she's, if I'm going here, yo, go on my OnlyFans, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's so, so when, so when a person as a man, a young man is like, well, it just makes sense for me to just be transactional with you because a lot of women are just transactional. It's like, well, well, shit, low key, you can just fuck for two hundred fifty dollars. Like you, you can. We can, we can stand the date and do our. But low key, she like what two fifty? I would I never be of that model, bro. Now, no. but we're also a little bit older than this, this, this new, this, this new internet era. They don't move. You know, we, you know, we, we from the wine and die and go out and. But bro, if you nineteen and you like, well, she asking for, <laughs> to, she asking for fifty dollars, bro, and she will suck my dick. If you 19, you like, well, I got $50. <laughs> why would I not why would I not do that? It just makes sense to me. It's the same way okay, I so, so, so I definitely understand I understand that statement. I understand it. I get it. I definitely get it. You're not wrong with you. <laughs> You're not wrong at all. I I do get it. That's why when I say transactional, yeah. that's what I was saying. Like they they yeah. literally are. I I I can you agree with never, that. Yeah. But See, now, it, it, what it comes down to now is what is it that you're really looking for? Are you just looking for just some pussy, or are you looking to, to keep somebody around? Because if you're keeping somebody around, then that means that you will always break pockets to keep somebody there with you. And but here's, never, the, here's what I'm trying to I say. So never, you could spend like, your I'll time finessing to get the pussy, or a nigga could just get mad pussy for the prices that they ask. But I will it's, never put that. But that's what I'm. Uh, I know I hear you, but that's why I'm. That's why I said you finessing I mean, for I what. Always, she I said one fifty. I'm not paying for something. <laughs> I'm not paying for something that that you can I'm, finesse for. I'm not paying for something that has that that has a. I you already know how I feel about about that that has a. I you already know how I feel about about women having price on their pussy. I you already, I don't I don't associate with women who have price on. All their women pussy. have a price, right? But I I listen to me. I always say women, <laughs> and that's the part a, about this that makes this. So incredible. But this is Every why I'm woman saying has women, a price. That a difference. price could be marriage. That price well, could be I'm kids. talking about no, but that I'm talking about a be, no, I'm talking about an actual oh, dollar s- No, no, no. I'm talking about an actual dollar sign amount, bro. I'm not talking mm. about marriage. Um, no, of course. Yes, a woman you wants to be married. Yes, and that's my <laughs> point. I'm not I'm not to- I'm not talking about that price. I'm talking about yeah, having yeah. a value to you. You wanting something mm. for yourself. Hey, I'm setting a standard. This is what I mm. want for me. That's a value. I'm not talking about. Pri- I will never associate with women with a price. Price is now something- we talking price versus value. Let's go, Barry. Yeah, come on, I've man. Been, Hell bro, yeah. I've been saying this Let's for how long on this show? Let's do. It. Ooh, come on, wait. I've yes. been saying this for the that longest on this show. Yes, yes. Having a price <laughs> on some shit, and you make, and you now as a young man are always dealing with young ladies who have a transactional approach or, or a price approach towards getting anything price. from them. You will now always and forever be. Giving some, giving women money just to be around you, to always just get no, 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 bro. You gonna, you want that young lady to give you something because she wants to give it to you, not because you have a hundred dollar bill to throw on the table and tell her to suck your dick. I want that. That is that to you me. You shouldn't have to finesse her out of sucking your dick, bro. Yep. It's, it's no finesse. But that's she does that on her own. That's not my. That's not me saying, hey, you better suck my dick. No, you choose to do that, shorty. Yeah, that's right. You that's choose rapey. to give me some that's, pussy. That's, 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 I'm not giving you this hundred dollar bill so you can give me some pussy. That's if that's the case, I could you could any nigga could fuck the baddest chick in the world because I put a hundred dollars on the table. I want you, the baddest chick in the world, to give me some pussy because you feel like giving me some pussy. Well, I, at the I'm end saying. of the day, I, I, I'll never be that. I think I think as men, we all we all agree, but I think it's also a, um, a type of man you are. We're not those type of people, but we know people who are like that. We know people who fuck strippers because they have a price. We know Plus. people who go to the club and do this because that's what they want. We know people who get the prostitutes because they do that and that's what they charge. So they're like, fuck it. Sure. I think we all agree that we're not those people. But honestly, I can't fault those people because they are kind of like, I mean. I say this, fellas, we're in your game. <laughs> It's 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 just tough for me because it's like life ain't about specifically pussy, but even us men who want a lot more, we also want pussy. So it's like, are they winning? 
But it's part of what I want. It, it's, of course, <laughs> it's something that I want, but it's part of what I want. But if I could, if I have to, if I can buy, great pussy doesn't have a price to it, bro. Yeah, you but ever you ever noticed for it. You you ever notice you ever That's notice that when a chick you ever notice when a chick here, fuck with you for real like when she fuck with you to for real the pussy hit different you ever notice that like yeah, when shorty really into somehow. you that pussy feels so different but when you pay now all of a sudden you pay for some shit or she just giving you some pussy because she just uh, the pussy don't hit the same all right so I'm gonna say this and then y'all we gotta end this goddamn show at the end of the day women don't understand their value or their prices. And men and, don't understand and, it either. And, I'm not just and we, and we don't. So, so at the end of the day, my bad. I ain't mean to make that a. I'm not pointing fingers, but it's it's basically a communication issue about value versus prices. And if we can get that together as people, we'll be fine. I don't even say women know they. I, women know what it is that they want. It's just that men are being stupid. Enough no, to not just want. Them bread. I just told you price versus value. What are you willing to I, give versus I, what? What are you worth? I agree, Dan. I agree. Like that, like that's a top. Like, I've been preaching that for the longest. Nigga, man. if I gotta wrap it up, that's that's like the the real truth. It's like, I've been what is your value long. versus your price? Long because long sometimes long. your price is too high, sometimes your value too low, or vice versa. Your value is high, and you, your price less. Can you imagine a show? He's talking about. I, I need a Birkin I bag from you, but she she don't. I don't know what you mean? Sound like that. She want a Birkin. She that. want a. She want a Birkin bag, but mad niggas done ran through that. Sweetie, I don't want, you know what I'm saying? Sweetie, it, the rapper, Sweetie said that. No, verbally. no, 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 no. But what I'm she saying said, is, she said you got to be the type of nigga to get this purse for me, and you can get but, her pussy well, pretty much. Saying, so it's like, well, but, all right, motherfucker. But what I'm saying is, but you, you got to understand on the up, the flip side of it. Now, if your value is a. I, all I know is if I buy the bag now, mad niggas done ran through that because they bought you the Birkin or whatever bag, Chanel bag, whatever it is. You got ten Birkins. So you got like, ten. Okay. So that means there's ten dudes that I know for a fact that ran through that, right? So now, cool. Yeah. I don't want that because guess what? As men, the the thing we live off of is knowing that somebody, of course, somebody had it, but some there's some exclusivity to towards your pussy. Not everybody. Once again, I, I, I said this before we got here. I said, we are the exceptions, to the rules. No, all men think that way. No, but no, I do believe that all men think that, but all men aren't. The, all men don't have value. No, so all men are times, not able. No, I let feel me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish real quick. All men don't have value. So what happens is if you don't, if you, if you as a man don't have value, you don't see a, a woman as value. You like, you see it's transactional price. It's a difference. I'm a val- uh, bro. I'm valuable. Okay. You know I'm, I'm saying? That, like my I'm... value is very, you can't, you can't purchase me. No, I, I'll even, like, I'll you just go, can't. I'll go a step further than that too. I'll say that. We got to go a step. That. Go. The show got to be done, bro. I don't it. even have no. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, we not even... No, I'm saying like. Even in terms of that, I feel like they men nowadays can't even get a woman with value. That's why they get a woman with price. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't get they. If you gotta, if you try to get a woman with value with the type of game that you got going on with you, and of course the word game is is looked at in a negative connotation now. But if you don't got no nothing towards you, no no kind of shit going on for you, you got no value, quote unquote. Now you have to put a price on it. And you can't, no nigga with a price on himself can't never pull a chick with, 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 with value, ever. Agreed. So step your game up, fellas. That's all I got to say. That's it, man. So guys got to get your value up, man. Women got to get your value niggas, up. We fellas, all, step your game up. Everybody, get your value up. Fuck a price. Get your value up. Mm, I'm fucking you know what with saying? that. We gotta make that a song. Fuck a price. Get your value up. You know what I'm Ooh. saying, but nah, I like that. I like once that. Again, I like thank that. Thank y'all for watching Willow Wednesdays. We hey, listen, the subscribe listen. button down it, there. It was a, it was another successful show. I'm drunk as shit. I want to thank y'all, young, I suffer Dane, um, young black <laughs> men. Oh shit! We found time like and subscribe. That. Hit the notification like, subscribe. button. Um, press the bell. Church. Yeah, all that. Um, comment all that your music. favorite part of this episode. Tell us what you think about the vasectomies. Men having some value. Women having some value. 
Honestly, if five minute sex is long enough sex for you. And I just want to say, if, in the if you below. agree, if you agree or disagree with us, I Let really us know like. Up. I really like people that disagree with us. I really fuck with people Thanks. that agree with us. I really do. Thanks. Like I enjoy it. I enjoy reading the comments. Yeah, it's a different. <laughs> like, it's a different point of view. Yo, I'm. I feel like we are open as a person, as an individual. You have to be open to learning. So please, tell us what you think. Yo, you could tell me. Hey, yo, check this out. You bugging? And if you prove me wrong that I'm bugging, I, hey, I fuck can't, with it. I can't be mad at that because I was wrong, and I apologize yeah, for being wrong. I have no problem. <laughs> but once again, please. Like, it's just like, subscribe, share, hit the notifications. Holla. Love y'all. Gang, we out, y'all. Peace. End of the episode. Go home. What are you still doing <laughs> here? Go to sleep. The fuck? Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Peace. Bow.